I got the moves. I got the moves. Oh, I'm making moves. You gotta move. You gotta make the city move. Like, whoa, I make the city move. I got the move. Over the past couple of months, the hype has been building for LeBron James's son, LeBron James Jr., and everyone has been paying attention to him. But there is an unfortunate truth about LeBron James Jr. that could affect his entire career and NBA legacy. I'll be talking about that in today's video. But before we begin, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you for 4,000 subscribers. It's absolutely crazy, so thank you all so much for the support. My goal is 5k by the end of the year, so let's try to hit that by January 2019. If you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe for more NBA content. But with that being said, let's talk about LeBron James Jr. Now a lot of you may have already hit the dislike button because it says sad truth in the title, but I'm not hating on LeBron James Jr. I'm hating on NBA fans. You may be asking yourself, why am I saying this? And it's due to our extremely high expectations. NBA fans always want to see immediate impact. We always want to see rookies and young players dominate straight away. And trust me, I've fallen into this trap before as well. Everyone is as impatient as each other when we want to see NBA rookies succeed. We want it to happen ASAP, even though normally it can take two to three years or longer for NBA players to truly develop into the talent we all want them to be. And these expectations are going to unfortunately fall onto Bronny Jr's shoulders too. But this time, they are going to be higher. A lot higher. LeBron James is a top 3 player of all time. There is no debate there. And if LeBron James Jr doesn't live up to those expectations, if he has a career that isn't better or isn't just as good as his father's, then he will be labelled a disappointment. I know it won't be everyone, but I'm telling you, there will be a lot. Even if he has a solid career, makes multiple all-star games and maybe an MVP candidate, it won't matter. It's not up to his dad's standards, then he'll be called a disappointment. And this does happen. This is why I'm making this video. Doc Rivers, as you should know, was a decent NBA player. He's now the coach of the LA Clippers. Now, his son, Austin Rivers, plays, and though he's actually a pretty average starter, he's still being called a terrible player just due to the fact he isn't playing as well as his dad did. And LeBron knows these expectations are coming for his son too. He's openly said he regrets naming his son after him because of all these expectations that have now been put on him to succeed. Basically, what I'm trying to say here is that no matter what kind of career LeBron James Jr. has, unless it's better than his father's or just as good as it, then he will be branded a failure in most fans' eyes. It's a really depressing thought, but it is the truth. There are examples of this out there and unfortunately for Bronny, he is the worst out of them all because he has to try become one of the greatest of all time. But what do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments below. Sorry for such a short video today, I just wanted to make this as the hype for Bronny is at an all time high right now, and I didn't want to extend this out any longer than it should have been. Longer videos are on the way though. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I am out. Peace. Look at that young boy, young boy, get it. Then that young boy, bitch, they grindin'. Look at that young boy, young boy, you whip it. Then that young boy, you always shining. Young boy, young boy, rep your city. Then that young boy, you always gone. Young boy, young boy, bring it back home. Young boy, young boy, put you on. Young boy, young boy, got no time. Young boy, young boy, bout that grind. I gotta get straight to the money. Only thing on that young boy, my.